Good afternoon. It is a beautiful Tuesday afternoon, the day after my 29th anniversary. We already celebrated yesterday, but I want to say it on the Grilling with RVH channel. Happy anniversary, baby. Love you. 29 years of fun and allowing me to do a hobby that I enjoy, which is smoking slash grilling. So you allow me to spend a lot of money. Thank you. Well, it, if it's Tuesday afternoon, it's time to fire up the smoker. Really, let's be honest. Any day it's time to fire up the smoker. But we're going to do some beef jerky today. Sweet and spicy sriracha jerky. I'll put the recipe in the comments as well as in the video here. But I really like this. Probably one of my favorite kinds of beef jerky is this sweet and spicy sriracha I make. I do a whole lot of jerky. This is the first time I'll be doing jerky on the master build itself, the 1050. So I got it going. I got some hickory and cherry wood down in the hopper and a little bit of cherry wood um, or excuse me, in the, in the firebox and ash bin and then um, some cherry wood up here in the hopper. We're going to do some sweet and spicy sriracha jerky. I picked up a tip from somebody else on one of the master built Facebook groups I'm a part of. I can't remember which one it is. So if you, if you see the video, then shout out, please, if you would, because I want to thank you. Um, they took a couple of, uh, metal shish kebab skewers and they threaded the jerky on it. Never done that. I've done a ton of jerky back here on the Rectech and also on the old Pit Boss Copperhead 5 vertical smoker I used to have, but I never did it like this. So it's going to be interesting. I want to see how it uh, turns out. You can see we got smoke rolling. We got the fire going. This is sitting right at about 150, 148. I'm going to smoke it at 150, about two, two and a half hours, see what kind of consistency we get it to. And then we'll see how it turns out. So take care and uh, continue watching the recipe and the prep comes up right now. So we just now got the jerky. You can see how it's got the, I got it on a skew, a couple of skewers, and then the rest of it, just what's left is on the uh, pan. I did sprinkle it with just a touch of Hatch chili seasoning, um, just to give it a little bit more peppery slash seasoning. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. there you have it. Hope you can see that. The uh, skewers resting on the rack now hanging. See how they turn out as compared to the ones on the on the jerky rack itself. And uh, we'll reset it at 150 and let it roll. Alright, we'll see how it come back in a little while, see how it does. So I had to unfortunately pull the jerky off of the smoker after about two hours because I had to get another cook going and I'll have another video for that on the channel later. But I pulled it off after about two hours on the smoker. It seemed to do real well on the hanging uh, skewers so I really like that. I took the jerky and I put it on one of my dehydrators and dehydrated it for three hours at 150 degrees. The jerky did seem to come out very well. 
It has a very good flavor, a nice smoke flavoring to it as well. I do think that I like doing jerky on this Masterbuilt 1050. So to recap, smoked it for two hours at 150 with some hickory and applewood mixed and then pulled it off and put it on the dehydrator for three hours at 150 and it turned out to the right consistency and the consistency I wanted. I do think the next batch I do will be completely on the Masterbuilt 1050. So there you have it. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below the video. Take care. Thank you so much. God bless.